Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be going over widgets on your Mac. So, on the top right hand side you're going to see the date. So here's the date and what you guys have to do is just click on the date. So that's the top right hand side. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the date and then we're going to get all our notifications and our widgets. So if I zoom out you guys can see them. Obviously if I zoom out too much you can't because my screen is high res so it's going to be tiny in your screen. Anyways, so right here are my widgets and notifications. To close any notification on the top left hand side, you're gonna see this X, just tap right there, tap right there, and you get rid of your notifications. So that's part of your widgets, it's all mixed in there. So as you guys may notice, I do have the weather, my calendar, some clocks here, stocks, plus a few other things. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. On the bottom of all of this, you will see something that says edit widgets. So that's where we're gonna click. And from this window, we can add or we can take out any widgets. So for example, if I don't want my screen time to show up, on the top left hand side, I'm going to see this, just tap right there, and then it's going to go away. So that's how you guys can take out any widgets. If I want, don't want this one or this one, I can clear out all my widgets really. World clocks, I'm going to take them all out, calendars, even the weather. And right now I have no widgets. So if I click on done, on the top right hand side, I'm going to see done. Next time I click up here, I'm going to see nothing. So there's no notifications, no widgets. So what we want is to get them back. To get any widgets in here, just going to edit widgets again. And from here, you can add any one of these. Just scroll over any one of these to add them onto here. If I keep going down, I'm going to see more and more widgets. You may also notice on the left side, we do have this category. So we can skip ahead only to see calendar, clock, notes, and so on. So let's say I want to add a weather widget. Well, I do have it down here below. However, if I click here on the left-hand side, I'm only gonna see all my widgets for weather. Now there's a few choices into some of these widgets. So I do have small, medium, and large. So I can choose any one of these. I do like the large, so I'm gonna add this on. On the top left-hand side, I'm gonna see this plus sign. Just click on the plus sign. And that's going to be added automatically onto my widgets. Same deal goes if I want my calendar, for example. I'm also going to click calendar. I'm going to add this so I can add medium, large, or just small. In this case, I do like the look of medium, so I'm going to add medium. And now let's say stocks is something that also is interesting to me. Well, stocks, there's two different ones. So there's the symbol that we can add. And there's this one, watch list. So we can go into, again, medium or large. I do like large since it displays more stuff. So I'm going to go ahead, click plus, and there we go. So these widgets are kind of like the widgets that came with new iPads, with the new iOS. That's kind of how this works. And I'm also going to go into reminders, and I'm going to add this. So I'm going to go ahead. There's also this medium, and there's large. So I do have all of these things right here. I can go into large, medium, or small. In this case, I do like the small one, so I'm gonna add that on. So basically, I just showed you how to add a medium, a small, or large widget into your panel. Once you're all done, on the bottom, you're gonna see done. Just click the bottom, done, and here we go. Here are my widgets. To take them out, just click up here on your date again. So it's at the top right-hand corner. To see them again, just click right there, and here we go. We have our weather and everything else. So those are the basics about widgets right now on your Mac. I do also want to highlight something else. On the top right hand side, beside your date in Siri, you're going to see this. This is different. If you click right there, it's not widgets. It's kind of like your control center from your iPad or your iPhone. It's very similar, and that's where they took this inspiration from. So from here, we can go into our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other options, because we still do have some Bluetooth options right here, plus Wi-Fi. However, they're also here, plus your display, sound, and you guys can play some music as well. And let's not forget about screen mirroring, which would mean AirPlay. So this is the same thing as AirPlay, plus do not disturb so you don't get any notifications or anything like that if you really want to concentrate on work. Anyways, those are the basics. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget that you only get all these things once you update to the newest Mac OS Big Sur. Again, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.